Welcome to Bayou Time. I'm Jacob DeGate, and it's now my pleasure to be joined by Father Glenn LeCompte, who's with the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau. Thank you very much for joining us, Father. You're welcome. All right. Uh, we got a upcoming a uh, few special masses. One is to celebrate the, the Cajun French culture. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Well, it's a mass that will be celebrated in French. Um, the French will be using, of course, a standard French because the uh, the books that we use for the prayers mm -hmm. and for the scripture readings um, are only written in standard French and they come from Canada. But uh, actually, uh, part of the motive for our celebration of this Mass is to celebrate the French heritage and especially the French Catholic heritage of the people in this area and to recognize the dignity of the uh, Cajun people. Well, uh, sure, and it goes back uh, to, to a long time ago when uh, a lot of that culture, you know, it seemed to be forced out, unfortunately, uh, th through certain laws that were passed, and, and, and a lot of that was lost, and it's always important to remember that heritage. Yes, it is, indeed. And, um, yeah, we uh, through some research that I did, um, this information came from Codafil, the Committee on development of French in Louisiana. Uh, in 1921, there was a law passed by the state legislature that uh, restricted the teaching of educational courses in schools in French. Um, so courses could only be taught in English. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you heard the stories from your grandparents and my grandparents and a lot of our grandparents who said that they were reprimanded or even sure. punished uh, for speaking French in school. Yeah, it certainly you hear those stories where they wouldn't even be allowed to, to speak any of the words and they would definitely be punished if not. Uh, so so unfortunately, you know, you, you lost a lot of that, that culture and it didn't pass. Uh, that language didn't pass down from, from generation to generation, but it's always important to, to bring it back up and celebrate that. Yes, indeed. Okay, so where is the, uh, the Mass taking place and when and what time? The Mass is taking place at St. Hilary Church in Matthews. And it is on uh, Monday night, August the 15th. It's at 6 p.m. Okay. And, and who will be uh, presiding over that mass? The uh, presider for the mass will be Father Daniel DePlantis. Father Daniel is the associate pastor at St. Francis de Sales Cathedral here. Um, but we're happy that he has some facility in, in French. And so he will be uh, presiding at the mass. And then our diocesan administrator, Father P.J. Madden, will be uh, giving the homily at the Mass. Okay, and, and will the, the homily and, and everything else be done in, in French as well? The, uh, the Mass prayers, the scripture readings, and the music will all be done in French. The homily will be given in English. Okay, all right, and, and that's certainly, and again, that is uh, August 15th, you said? August 15th. At St. Hilary's in, in Raceland. Uh, I see you have some other... Uh, upcoming masses that you'd like to touch on. Can you tell us about those as well? Sure. Um, on September the 9th, uh, we have a mass for peace in our communities and for racial harmony. Um, this mass uh, is a uh, national day of prayer uh, that was directed by the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. And uh, it, it was meant to address the rampant violence that is going on in our society and um, also the uh, blatant racism that goes on, you know. So uh, St. Peter Claver was a Spanish Jesuit priest who ministered to uh, slaves on uh, ships coming in, you know. So uh, the whole aim of the Mass is to pray for peace in our communities and for an end to the violence that we see. We also have what we call the Blue Mass, which is um, where we celebrate police, firefighters, and emergency responders. And the Red Mass, uh, the Blue Mass, excuse me, will be on September 29th. The Red Mass will be in October, uh, and uh, that is for uh, lawyers and judges. Okay, and, and where will these Masses take place? Will they be at certain place, certain churches? Uh, the St. Peter Claver Mass, the Blue Mass, and the Red Mass will all take place at St. Joseph Co-Cathedral in Thibodeau this year. Okay, that, that's certainly wonderful. Um, tell us, uh, go, getting back to the Cajun uh, 
French uh, celebration mass. Can you tell us, um, you know, about the music? Will, will the music itself be, um, you know, will that be from, from French influenced or, or, or is it Cajun French as well? Well, actually, two of the songs I, I dug up <laughs> were uh, some old Cajun French hymns. And some hymns that I'm sure uh, a lot of our people who grew up with that will recognize. Um, and then I've got uh, a couple of uh, standard hymns that are in French. And uh, actually the, the mass parts, the mass setting, I wrote myself. Okay, so, so this, it's, it's very personal to you, it seems. As, as, uh, it is. Okay, and is, is that from uh, y your ancestry? Is, is, uh, they from, uh, did they come from the Acadiana region? Um, well, it is personal to me because of my French ancestry. Sure. Yeah, as far as I know, um, my ancestors came directly from France here, although it's possible, uh, at least on my father's side of the family, it, it, it's possible they were part of the expulsion from Nova Scotia mm -hmm. um, because some went to France and then came to Louisiana. But as far as I know, my, my personal ancestry is from France and my mother's side is from French Canada. But there are many people who have ancestry from uh, what we know today as Nova Scotia that was known as Acadie. Sure. Well, it's certainly going to be a, a great celebration a mass. And again, that's uh, August 15th at uh, St. Hilary Catholic Church in Raysa. And I would add one other thing that uh, it's uh, on that day, because it's the Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and that is uh, the patron feast of the Acadian people. All right. Thank you. And at six o'clock, uh, thank you very much, Father, for joining us. We appreciate having you on. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Stay tuned for more right here on HTV.